Hello world, Perez Hilton here, and I am about to share with you one of the most important things I've ever done. This video is a must see for all Britney Spears fans, both hardcore and casual. I have spent a considerable amount of time talking to sources, insiders, directly a part of Britney Spears' life. And I have heard things that I've never heard before. Things that blew my mind. Where do we even begin? I guess with the harsh reality, what a lot of people have suspected. No, Britney does not want to be in this conservatorship. That's not a surprise. She has restrictions placed on her life. However, and I did not know this, for those of us concerned for Brittany and her happiness, this conservatorship is under intense scrutiny and they have been for the last 11 years. For the last 11 years, not once, but twice a year, judges, I'm talking about multiple judges, take out a magnifying glass and look at everything going on with Brittany, her conservatorship, her estate, and her well-being. Independent outsiders have determined that everything is by the books, everything is as it should be, and everything is for Brittany's well-being. Everyone that I have spoken to reiterates the same thing. She's not happy with the conservatorship, but she is happy or as happy as can be. I mean, just this year alone, we have seen Brittany has gone on how many vacations? Countless. She doesn't love being forced to do this, that, or the other, but every person that I have spoken with has reiterated the same thing. If Britney Spears is not in this conservatorship, she will die. Those in her innermost circle truly believe that. That should tell you, yes, Britney can do certain things. Like a robot, she can get up on stage and perform. But a lot of other things, basic things, she cannot do. And if she were not under the watchful eye of those medically trained, looking after her, making sure at all times that she's not going to buy alcohol or drink or do drugs or this out of the other, it would be 2007 again. And I tried, but of course, you know, understandably, nobody is allowing me to mention names or speak on the record, but I heard things that I had never heard before that a Britney insider has never confirmed and most likely will never confirm publicly. But as I have speculated and probably you too, it has been confirmed to me that yes, in the past, Britney Spears did have a substance abuse problem. Combine that with mental health issues and poof, I tried, I pulled teeth, I did everything possible. Nobody would tell me specifically the kinds of drugs that Britney allegedly did in the past, according to these insiders, I want to be very careful and say that Brittany herself did not tell me this, okay? I don't know if this really happened, because really, at the end of the day, the only one who knows if Brittany did drugs is Brittany, right? I don't want her to sue me. I genuinely care about this person, and so do those around her. I have previously spoken out and speculated and was told 
There are theories, let me put it even vaguer because I want to be very careful with what I say. Britney's very first marriage. Remember that one, her marriage to Jason Alexander? A lot of people claim that Britney was high on ecstasy when she did that. I love you, I love you, I love you, let's get married, we're rolling. <sighs> so, thankfully, because of this conservatorship, Brittany is not on any recreational drugs anymore. Is she heavily medicated? Yes. Yes. But every single person that I spoke to reiterates she needs to be heavily medicated. You know, Brittany's probably a lot like Kanye. Kanye doesn't want to be heavily medicated, but it seems like he has been for a while now, or at least somewhat medicated. But Kanye doesn't have a team of people watching him like a hawk and telling him what he can or cannot do. Another thing that really surprised me, shocked me actually, I did not know this. And there is a lot of friction actually right now in Britney's camp. There are warring factions and that was public. We saw this year that Britney's mother showed up in court with a lawyer and is now all of a sudden wanting to be involved. Well, my mind exploded when it was revealed to me that for the last decade, Brittany and her mother haven't had a complete falling out, but they have been severely estranged for the last decade. They wouldn't see each other that often. Their relationship was awful. This year, as a result of the Free Britney campaign, Lynn Spears saw an opening to get back into her daughter's life. And it seemed to work. Britney and Lynn just went on vacation together recently. And yes, if Lynn is making all of these promises and telling Britney this, that, or the other, and if Britney clearly doesn't want to be in the conservatorship anymore, then, oh wow, mom is on my side. Mom, come on back. Mom, let's make this happen. But that may not be for her best interest. Her boyfriend, I was very curious about, the general consensus seems to be that everybody likes Sam Iscari, dot, 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 but he's just going along for the ride. He's not a negative influence. He's not even a positive influence. Brittany calls all the shots in that relationship. Brittany is a person with wants and needs and desires and he fulfills that for her. He's very young and doesn't rock the boat And there's that. I means so long as he's not a negative influence, okay, cool, I'm down with that. But, and I was surprised by this too. You know, Brittany is not a prisoner. If Brittany wants to go on vacation, she can. If Brittany wants to leave the house, she can. There is a lot that Brittany can do. And Brittany does own her own cell phone which that still boggles my mind because for the longest time we were led to believe that she didn't. And not only that, this also boggles my mind because, but I mean, I guess, I, I guess it's good that they do give her a lot of liberty and freedom. If I was Britney's conservatorship, I would try to get her off of the internet and social media, but I am told that Britney has a cell phone and at home has a computer and not only is obsessed with being thin, but really cares about what people are saying about her, will Google herself, still does that. Still. Googles herself to see what people are writing, what people are saying. I don't know if that's the healthiest thing for her. And as for her father, a lot of people are trying to make him out to be this evil man. But 
This guy saved her life. I am certain of that. Those in her circle are certain of that. If it was not for Jamie Spears, Brittany would most likely be dead. And then there's other players that people are getting upset about, like Lou Taylor, her business manager, or Larry Rudolph, her entertainment manager. Lou and Larry, I am told, are not part of the conservatorship. They just handle her professional life and don't have anything to do with the day-to-day -day of her life, the day-to-day -day of her conservatorship, of taking her medication, this, that, or the other. This year has seen this explosion in the Free Britney movement and conspiracy theories and this, that, the other, and it wouldn't surprise me if Sam Lutfi was behind a lot of this. He has been texting Lynn Spears. That is public information. That information was presented to the court before a permanent restraining order was issued against him. He also has a restraining order against him from Courtney Love, and he also had issues with Amanda Bynes in the past. Is Jamie Spears perfect? Probably not. Are you? Am I? But I really do believe this guy has his daughter's best interest at heart. And Lynn Spears just wants to get back in on the action. And Britney's siblings, they're her siblings. They love her and she loves them, but they don't live here. They don't live near her. There's only so much they can do. And I know, I know, cause I, I, you know, I'm trying to also help. I said, you know, wouldn't it be possible for Brittany to do an interview? Because even though she has posted Instagram videos and said, I'm okay, leave my loved ones alone, people don't believe her. Like what if she sat down with Oprah and did a long chat about everything? But I'm told that's just not gonna happen. She's not capable of that, is what her crew believes. So it's a sad situation is what it is, but it would be even sadder if she were to die or if she were to go back to 2007. <sighs> I think all we can do now is just send positive vibes to Brittany, okay? You watching this right now and me, there's nothing else we can do. We are not related to her. We are not her mother, her father, her sister, her ex-husband her children, just send positive vibes. And I think that's it. Thank you for watching my fram. You're amazing. If you enjoyed this, make sure you're subscribed and have notifications on so that I could chat with you live on YouTube during each video premiere. Make sure you're also following me on Instagram, the Perez Hilton and at Perez Hilton for the website. Get cameos from me at cameo.com slash Perez Hilton. Subscribe to my newsletter at PerezNewsletter.com. And you know the rest of the drill. Hit the like button, leave a comment, follow, subscribe, share. Hit me, baby, one more time. I love you. Mwah.